Revenue was up 2% to 32.5 billion. This was largely driven by the automotive business as well as the um, logistics. You know, uh, the equipment business was down about 11%. I think we'll cover that later. But what was pleasing though is to see the operating profit up 5%, you know, uh, driven mainly by, once again, automotive, which had a, a stellar performance. It has been another record uh, a quarter for automotive over the last couple of years. Uh, the equipment, uh, Siberia or Russia, delivered also a stellar pe performance. So did you know, uh, S South Africa, given the challenging and economic environment that you know, we face. It was also pleasing to see that we've generated cash over the period, uh, given the fact that we've increased our investment in working capital, as well as net investment in leasing and rental uh, assets. Returns are fundamentally going to be very important for us in terms of going forward. Secondly, is ensuring that we can be growing this business. So in terms of return, you know, fundamentally we've identified two businesses that needs to be fixed. is equipment, Iberia, as well as you know, the logistics business. In the medium term, if we do that, then it gives us a right for us to be then able to say, can we then go and acquire additional business outside of our existing portfolio, which is equipment and automotive. And in doing so, we want to make sure that we don't go too far from our core. We are able to actually you know, leverage our existing capabilities. And we've already, you know, well underway in terms of identifying sectors which we'd like to look at, you know, um, and on an ongoing basis, we will be able, you know, to, to take advantage. But I think in my view, I wouldn't want to start with that because I think it's important that we first and foremost deal with the uh, current portfolio and then we can then be able to look at, you know, other opportunities.